Are you tired of feeling self-doubt and insecurity? Your daily habits could be to blame. In this video, we'll explore 10 bad habits that can destroy your confidence and how to break free from them. Habit number one, negative self-talk. Negative self-talk is a common habit that can seriously damage your confidence and self-esteem. It involves criticizing and belittling yourself either internally or out loud. For example, telling yourself I'm not good enough, I always mess things up, or nobody likes me. Negative self-talk can become a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading to a spiral of self-doubt and poor performance. To break this habit, it's important to become aware of your negative self-talk patterns and challenge them with positive, realistic self-talk. Practice self-compassion and treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend. With time and effort, you can retrain your brain to think more positively and build your confidence. Habit number two, comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others is another common habit that can harm your confidence. It's easy to fall into the trap of measuring your worth based on someone else's achievements, appearance, or success. However, this mindset is a recipe for disappointment and insecurity. No two people are exactly alike, and everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. Instead of focusing on what others have, try to celebrate your own accomplishments and progress. Focus on your own goals and the unique path you're on. Remember that everyone's journey is different, and it's not productive or healthy to compare yourself to others. By shifting your mindset, you can break free from the cycle of comparison and cultivate greater confidence in yourself. Habit number three, procrastination. Procrastination is the habit of delaying important tasks and instead choosing to focus on less important or more enjoyable activities. This can lead to missed deadlines, increased stress, and a loss of confidence in your ability to get things done. To break this habit, it's important to identify the root causes of your procrastination. Is it fear of failure or perfectionism? Are you overwhelmed or lacking motivation? Once you understand the reasons behind your procrastination, you can develop strategies to overcome it. Break tasks into smaller, manageable steps and create a realistic schedule. Hold yourself accountable and reward yourself for making progress. By taking action and avoiding procrastination, you'll build your confidence and achieve your goals. Habit number four, overthinking. Overthinking is the habit of dwelling on past mistakes or worrying excessively about the future. It can lead to feelings of anxiety, self-doubt, and indecision. To break this habit, it's important to recognize when you're overthinking and shift your focus to the present moment. Practice mindfulness techniques, such as deep breathing and meditation, to calm your mind and reduce anxiety. Challenge your negative thoughts and replace them with positive affirmations. Set realistic goals and focus on the next step rather than getting bogged down by the big picture. By breaking the habit of overthinking, you'll gain greater clarity, confidence, and peace of mind. Habit number five, perfectionism. Perfectionism is the habit of setting impossibly high standards for yourself and being overly critical of your own work. While striving for excellence can be a positive trait, perfectionism can lead to anxiety, self-doubt, and procrastination. To break this habit, it's important to set realistic and achievable goals. Celebrate progress and accomplishments, even if they're not perfect. Practice self-compassion and treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Recognize that mistakes are a natural part of the learning process and an opportunity for growth. By embracing a mindset of progress rather than perfection, you'll build greater confidence and resilience. Habit number six, negative self-image. A negative self-image is a habit of seeing yourself in a negative light, often based on unrealistic or distorted beliefs about your appearance, abilities, or personality. This habit can lead to feelings of self-doubt, low self-esteem, and even depression. To break this habit, it's important to challenge negative self-talk and replace it with positive affirmations. Focus on your strengths and accomplishments and avoid comparing yourself to others. Surround yourself with supportive and positive people and practice self-care activities such as exercise, meditation, or hobbies. Seek professional help if necessary to address underlying issues that may be contributing to negative self-image. By cultivating a positive self-image, you'll build greater confidence and resilience in all areas of your life. Habit number seven, people-pleasing. People-pleasing is the habit of always putting others' needs and desires before your own, often to the point of sacrificing your own well-being. While it's important to be kind and considerate of others, people-pleasing can lead to feelings of resentment, burnout, and a loss of confidence in your ability to make decisions for yourself. 
To break this habit, it's important to set healthy boundaries and learn to say no when necessary. Focus on your own needs and desires and communicate assertively with others. Practice self-care activities and engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. By breaking the habit of people-pleasing, you'll gain greater confidence and autonomy in your life. Habit number eight, lack of boundaries. Lack of boundaries is the habit of not setting clear limits on what you're willing to accept in your relationships and interactions with others. This can lead to feelings of resentment, frustration, and a loss of control over your life. To break this habit, it's important to identify your personal values and priorities and set boundaries that align with them. Communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively and hold others accountable for respecting them. Learn to say no when necessary and avoid overcommitting yourself. Practice self-care activities and engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. By setting healthy boundaries, you'll gain greater respect and control in your relationships and build greater confidence in your ability to create the life you want. Habit number nine, poor posture and body language. Poor posture and body language can be a reflection of our inner state of mind and self-confidence. Slouching, avoiding eye contact, and crossing your arms can all signal low self-esteem and make it harder for you to connect with others. On the other hand, standing up straight, making eye contact, and using open and welcoming gestures can signal confidence and openness, making it easier to connect with others and build positive relationships. To break the habit of poor posture and body language, it's important to start with awareness. Notice when you're slouching or using negative body language and make a conscious effort to correct it. Additionally, practice positive self-talk and visualization techniques to reinforce positive messages about yourself. Tell yourself that you're confident, capable, and deserving of respect. Visualize yourself standing tall and using positive body language in social situations. Finally, engage in activities that build physical and emotional strength, such as exercise or meditation. Building a stronger mind and body can improve your posture and body language, as well as boost your overall confidence and self-esteem. By improving your posture and body language, you'll build greater confidence and make it easier for others to connect with you. Habit number 10, neglecting self-care. Neglecting self-care is the habit of putting the needs of others before your own, leading to burnout and exhaustion. To break this habit, prioritize self-care activities like exercise, healthy eating, restful sleep, and relaxing hobbies. Identify your self-care needs and make a plan to prioritize them. Set boundaries and delegate tasks to others. Practice self-compassion and kindness towards yourself. Recognize that self-care is not selfish, but necessary for a fulfilling life. By prioritizing self-care, you'll improve your physical and emotional well-being, boost your self-esteem, and feel more confident and in control of your life. In conclusion, these 10 bad habits can have a significant impact on your confidence levels, but they are all within your power to change. By identifying these habits and taking action to replace them with healthier behaviors, you can boost your self-esteem, improve your relationships, and achieve greater success in all areas of your life. Remember that breaking old habits takes time and effort, but with persistence and dedication, you can overcome these negative patterns and become a more confident and fulfilled version of yourself.